why has Ten Hag rocked up to Anfield playing like a relegation team that need that point? And Australian football fans are apparently not real fans, right? Now, what's the biggest misery of all time? International break. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That fraud. Oh my god. Oh, he's on Fraud Watch. Oh, he's been on Fraud Watch for ages. No, no, but now he's officially now on he's Fraud official. Watch. Yeah, like fun. Oh, Maron, what are you doing? Hey, like, comment, subscribe, share, do everything you gotta do, man. It goes a long way, trust me. You like my shirt? Get straight into the episode. Australian football fans are apparently not real fans, right? And um, I just want to say this because on the Ganacha video that recirculated the algorithm and it's been going on again, oh, bro, it's done everyone's head in, huh? That video. I love, I love the comments. Someone, someone uh, replied to it, goes, are you scared to reply as a nut, cuz? I got a fucking life. There was some bloke that said something and I'm like, just eat a dick. I just wrote, E-A-D. I just, I can't, I can't handle it anymore, bro. Some shit can't. But yeah, apparently we're not good football fans. Australian fans that watch football don't know what they're talking about. Yada, yada, yada. Now let me tell you something. Just because we don't reside in those places, and I promise you, if we did, we'd be at most games. Um, just because we don't live there and we don't go to the games every week and whatnot, bro, we love it more than you love it, one hundred percent. It might be in your culture, but for us, we actually have to go there and adopt the love for it and stay up at two, three a.m., four a.m. I think City, I think Liverpool Arsenal next week's like four thirty in the morning. Every Australian that watches their team knows what it's like to set an alarm for five in the morning to get up and watch a game. Bro, Even earlier, man. Well, I, oh, it, it, on weekends, where I sacrificed Saturday nights. Yeah, Saturday night used to be hey, for the boys. Now it's for football. Used to be, go out, go to the bar, have a couple of drinks. Now it's, oh man, 11.30pm kickoff tonight. Who's playing? I've got to go home. You have to see who's playing. Like the pro, like If it's a good game, you're like, oh man, I'd rather just stay in eh, and watch it. You know, Champions League. We're oh, on our way to work and we're watching that shit. Bro, I cried on the way to work for Liverpool beat Barcelona 4-0. I cried. My parents were like, what the hell's wrong with you? I was like... You just never get it, bro. But yeah, bro, like, I don't know why. And you guys, after Europeans, after games, they just, they go home. Yeah, like they it's go out. 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Like, shi'adi. Like, I nothing happened. I don't want to be that guy, but bro, when I went to the city game, five o'clock kickoff finished. You know what I mean? Then you go out, you go What time did you leave? By eight o'clock, you were out? By eight o'clock, I was out. We went out again, watched the UFC, had a night out. That's mad. I wish we do could do that. You know what I mean? Us here, look at everyone. Cause uh, let me tell you, TK uh, walked in looking like a dead body. Let, let me tell you something. TK Mems, you will all agree with us, right? We've all had this stage in our life where we've partied at hotel rooms, right? Now, what's the biggest misery of all time? International break. No, 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 <laughs> no that's a misery. <laughs> that's a misery, yeah. But what's the biggest misery the when the day after? When no, when you're partying, <clears throat> when, you, when you're in these certain places, what's the biggest misery? If you don't want to answer, I can answer it for you. Watching the sun come up. If that's not the worst thing ever, and that's what I did last night or how today. Many, how many times has it happened to me and you here? Bro, you know when the sun comes up, it's like everyone's a vault. Everyone run home because close the blinds, just act like nothing just happened. Well, it used to be for different reasons. Yeah, now, alhamdulillah, you're home. Yeah, <laughs> at least on your couch or... Me so we wake up with <laughs> snacks on our shirts. Like, what happened last night? <laughs> Pod sneakers on <laughs> our chest and shit. <laughs> nah, but yeah, just a little message for all the fans that are overseas. But we love football. We watch it hard, like hardcore. We freaking... Follow it. It's just something that Look around you, yeah. bruv. Yeah, we've built this uh, place kind of football, football-ish, huh? Um, but yeah, bro. Boys, take us tired. Mems is tired. I'm tired. So we're going to try to get through this very, very It's going to be a quick one today. I guess. Uh, let's get into the first thing. First things first. Um, and this is not aimed at Tanaka because Tanaka is the only fan that I respect for Manchester United. There's a lot of Manchester United fans that I know that have done my brain in, right? Celebrating this draw. And look, I understand why you're celebrating the draw because you thought you were going to get thumped. <coughs> Um, and what I'm talking about is the Liverpool United game at Anfield. Um, very, for me, I'm just going to tell you my three cents first. For me, um, the players did what most of the fans were doing. I think they were, they made, they they thought it was going to be an easy win. And all week, I swear, I've been saying to, I, I spoke to Pete, and I spoke to Mems as well, Mems Latoya. Everyone's saying 4-0, 5-0. I'm like, bro, listen, that 7-0 shit that happened is like, a once in a lifetime thing, you know. What I mean? It's crazy that that even happened. And these games, you've got to remember, these games are two teams, are two of the biggest teams in in the country. They have the oldest rivalry. Correct me if I'm wrong, T. And also, it's the most watched game, so it's has the most anticipation. It has the most hype around it. <clears throat> now you're never gonna get results how we did five nil, four nil, seven nil. That doesn't really happen all the time. So for me, I knew it wasn't gonna be one of those games where it's an easy win. And another thing I'd like to add, TK, is Manchester United. Defensively, yesterday were they were very very impressive. Now I thought, 
I knew that I seen that literally when Bruno got the wasn't gonna play. I was like, yeah, it's gonna be low block. It's gonna be McTominay just, you know what I mean, heading balls out, Amrabat killing everyone, and that's exactly what happened. So Liverpool, a nice a bit of a wake up call. Um, especially at Anfield, you should win that game easily. You should, oh, not easily, but you should win that game. You should get something from that game. Thirty four shots, I think. I know most of them weren't really like amazing shots, like you said in the group. They were just from outside of the box, hoof it, but. Yeah, man, I, I just, yeah, very, very poor game. Poor quality, to be honest with you. <coughs> Take out what you reckon. Not worth staying up for. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for saying it. You took the words out of my mouth. That's the first thing, right? <laughs> but like I said, I can't I can't sleep on my team. This is part and parcel part of uh, being a Man United fan. Look, I think I set up, we accidentally stumbled across it. Um in a way, Bruno getting a red card, well, not getting a red card, getting a yellow card and getting a suspension was a blessing in disguise because I don't think Ten Hag would have, like, not played two number sixes if Bruno was around. So I think that was a blessing in disguise. Shout out to big Kobe Mane, bro. Yeah, he, he, he deserves his flowers, bro. The kid's and 18, I, I, I didn't think bro. he was that great yesterday, yeah. but he was, like, the one of the most composed players in oh, United. Enfield away. Like, yeah, that's, away. so that's why, I mean, that's where the flower was coming. But I've, his better performance was um, the first game he played. Yeah, uh, Everton. Everton. I think. Yeah. That's where he actually showed, he stood out, really. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think it did well. Um, other than that, man, like, Varane. <laughs> Yeah, that was my surprise. Look, I know we sat here last week and I said I'd sell Varane. And <laughs> I um, forgot about that. <laughs> no, no. Uh, and a lot of that just comes down to the fact that him and Martial drink the same tea and they're both really fragile and it's hard to build consistency. And I know there was a, this whole question and agenda of why is Tenag not playing Varane? First and foremost, it fell out for whatever reason. Um, and I know I said to, to in the group chat earlier today, who falls out with Varane? Like as a joke. That was the nicest guy in the world. Yeah, I was like, who falls out with Varane? But in the same time, like I did think back on it and I said, look, if he's fallen out the manager, done something the manager doesn't like, and he's been dropped, fair enough. Like it is what it is. We've we've lost results, but if you have to be stubborn in that manner to teach players that no one's untouchable, then so be it. Like Rashid could easily be back in the team right now. And this is I think his third or fourth game in a row where he hasn't started and hasn't been brought back into the team. And no one said a thing about it. Because they understood. Because everyone knows it's right. So if that happens to Rashid, then Varane shouldn't be immune to it. Whether the manager's right or wrong, like, he should still have that authority. But what I will say is good about Varane is he hasn't sulked. He hasn't come on and, you know, been like a certain Man United winger. And uh, <laughs> jumped on Twitter and had a sulk. Like, things, these things happen. And it's it's about your professionalism and how you show up. Like Drop the Grime Daily um, rap, rap this on yeah. Ten Hag on Twitter. <laughs> Like he's he's he was immense, man. And I've I I might be in the minority in this opinion, but I say a fully fit Varane is easier top five centre back in the league. Easy. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, the problem is we don't get to see. Last season we saw a lot of it, um, but this season we don't see much of it. Johnny Evans again, the guy's yet to drop a stinker, and I didn't want him to 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 sign for United, but. He's, he's he's doing his job, and that's yeah, he's he got a cal- he's got a calm head. I think yesterday you seen it; like it was very calm. You know, everything was sweet. It's fine. Just head of the balls out, clear it, clear it, clear it. So I think, yeah, you got to give him his credit. It comes yeah. with experience, bro. Th- this result is good for United, but it means jack shit if we go to West Ham and lose. You know, which and that's a away game. That's yeah, right. It means jack shit if we lose to Villa, and I think we're versing Villa on Boxing Day. It doesn't mean anything, man. Like we actually need to. Start building some consistency. If it means the next three games, West Ham, Villa and stuff are all draws, it's better than what we've been doing, man. Like, we've got to find a baseline where you go, all right, like, we're not playing well, but let's not lose games. Because our, our biggest gripe this season is we win or lose. This is our first draw this yeah, season. Yeah, that's weird, yeah. It's not. It hasn't. So that's why when things have been happening, it's either fans are up here or, or they're down, down here. There. Like, they, there's no middle ground because we haven't been drawing. So... It's something to build off. Um, I think playing one game, being knocked out of the Champions League, I'm very happy about. I think one game a week will be good for us. And we've got players to come back. Like, we've still got Casemiro out. Leicho's back in training now. Like, slowly, slowly, players will come back. If we're playing once one game a week, you should be fine. better chance for people like Varane to stay fit. So, there are definitely positives to find. Whether I want to buy into them or not, probably not. 
yet just because I don't trust that team. That's why I love you, bro. That's so why I thank you very I much. Because I've had brain, I've had uh, brain trauma from Surrey <coughs> United fans today. Uh, my ears are ringing. All right. If you're a YouTube fan, you're a real one. You're gonna understand this, okay? But here's my take on the United game. It's not my actual take. So go. <laughs> Why has Ten Hag rocked up to Anfield with Crystal Palace? Sorry, with you know, with 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 low block blueprints. Is he trying to rescue his job for this side of the season? Um, that's a good good question. But at the same time, it's very obvious he has he does have a lot of injuries, and this is the only reason why I said Liverpool wouldn't win, is because at listen li- he he rocked up to that game playing like a relegation team. That need that point. And fair that- play to him. Like, if you have to do it, you have to do it, bro. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you something and I'll answer your question for you. Last season, United were flying, Liverpool were in the mud, right? And Ten Hag came out and said, the same thing his first statement is, errors come to an end. And every single week I say the meme, blood thinks he knows what he's talking about. You know what I mean? He said, Anfield, the pitch is the same, this is the same. He started really mocking it or whatever it is. And then he got humbled, 7-0. Even though they United were pretty decent in that first half. Like we bounced back the week after and we went yeah, on, and then on, we lost on, to on a game streak. Like still winning streak. So But but he still lost seven nil. Yeah, exactly. well, th- that's that's something on your thing. So Regardless. that's the, that's one th- that's a reason why so, I say so he came rock up mentality. there with his tail tucked between the, his legs saying, I'm not losing seven nil again, but I'm probably not gonna win. So nil all is the best I can get. But I also think Bruno, that, what kind of a shit mentality is that though? Well, are it's, we going to say that about Mourinho? It's save your job and let's try yeah, get Mourinho wins. Was <laughs> Mourinho was dumped. Mourinho was dumped. I know, but are we going to say about that about Mourinho? Because Mourinho, yeah, many of time, has done this at Enfield, has done this at the bridge, has done this And, at, and he got, he at, got at hit Pierre. for it. Yeah, he, he didn't get his head for it. He didn't get his head for it. He got hit for it. But I think it's also understanding what your team is. I think Ted Hag, whether he sees something in training or whatever it is, I think... There's been certain times this season he's overestimated that team's ability, and I'd argue yesterday was the first time he kind of just went, you know what, like <laughs> this is what we are. <laughs> this is what we are. What, what do you want me to do? He accepted reality finally. And anyway, when, when you say this on when you say that on TikTok, you'll yeah. know why I said what I said. <laughs> and yeah, you have to spike some people. I got speaking to my mate. He goes, "Oh man, I can't believe we're just setting up to play counter-attacking football and with a low block but and stuff with, like with that." But with no counter-attacking, oh. because like. Ho- I, I, this is a real stat. Hoyland has been the most under underserviced striker in the league. You saw that post. Yeah, but that's... he's had the least amount of passes in the whole league. But again, that's been happening for years. Martial's yeah. been on the on the. Recep- had the same. Like the only difference between Hoyland and Martial is he runs a lot more, so people are a lot more patient and give him a lot more time and respect. No, but I think he's but, a good, great player. Uh, uh, right? Weghorst and uh, but Rasmus the service Hoyland. is the same. Yeah, hasn't w- changed. W- Weghorst and Rasmus Hoyland had the same service. Cavani had the same issues. Mm. Ronaldo had the same issues, but Fel- Ronnie Cal. went and found his own goals. Like yeah, that's Ronnie's Ronnie. Ronnie's Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. he's going to make it work really. Um, even ah, oh, my Ibro's all right. Um, Why are you laughing? <laughs> I just made a wet course and a Rasmus Holland comparison in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Same impact. Yeah, so nah, he'll be good. He'll be good. Yeah, man. Like I think to, to answer your question about Ten Hag, like it's just you don't understand what you are, man. And mm. if you understand what you are, you have a better job of succeeding. Like if I go to the gym and I think I can bench press hundred kilos every time I go, to, and it's my first time in the gym, and you're I'm gonna get hurt. hurt. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, I'm gonna have to go. Man, I can only bench press forty kilos. And Ten Hag's been injured bad that seven nil. That's a big, bro. That like this is every time a United fan tells me something, I'm like, bro, you lost seven nil. Like I don't even know why you're even having. They this still ar- call him Seven Hag. Yeah, I don't know why you <laughs> why why you even having this argue with me. You lost seven nil. Like if I lost seven nil, I'll never talk to you. Like, I'll just shut my mouth. No matter what it is, maybe in you five years. Seven nil to Aston Villa. It's seven two. That was that was fucked that weekend. You remember that weekend? Oh, that was oh, that was the lowest. Um, boys, I want to speak about Nunes because he's done my head in now. I think like oh, he's on fraud watch. Oh, he's been on fraud watch for ages. No, I no, but now he's officially now on he's fraud official. watch. Yeah, like if one, not one, on mine. <laughs> if if one person in the crowd says Nunes, I'm gonna throw my shirt. At <laughs> nah, but look, man, he's he's got a, enough's enough, bro. You got a, you've had 18 months. Um, you've been in the prem. You know the team. You haven't been injured. You've been. You know, playing recently, you've had opportunities, and chances. And lets you play every game. Yeah, and I think a striker, you're going to be more lenient. You know, you've paid big money for him and whatnot. But I, I don't. I think next game, and I love Nunes straight out. His work rate and things that you don't see. Um, if you don't watch the game properly, you don't see it. Whatever. But same thing as Werner, bro. But you you got to fucking put the ball in the net. You can get that from anyone. That work rate, you can get that. Not from really. Like people. he does. He does some good things. He runs. Does run some good lines, but. It's the same thing as Werner. At this point right now, Bobby, would you take Bobby or Darwin? I've all, I'll always take Bobby. Any day of the week. Because Bobby's just, Bobby's Bobby, bro. He's a legend. But I'll take Gakpo right now. Like, I'll put Gakpo in the middle 
and let's play, let's let's see what you can do because that front three is not really gelling at the moment, bro. You know, the papering over the cracks. We haven't been good for a while now. As well, I told you last week, I'm like, bro, I'm so happy we're top of the league. We don't have a six and we play, we play, we've been playing shit football. Like, just getting results, really. And, you know, miracles in the end. So, yeah, I think good wake-up call for Liverpool. I'm taking the positives out of it, even though it's a shit result. Should have won that. But there's a conspiracy in my head. Every time City drop points... Liverpool just lay back and watch a movie. I don't know what they do. They go to sleep, Netflix and chill. They, that, they drop points too. Are yeah, they're surprised? like, oh, that's my mate. Are you surprised? I'm not I, surprised. I, I, this happened in the, in the, in the preseason. When I messaged you and you seen De Bruyne and DVD <laughs> walking around together, yeah. they take their kids uh, to the same school. Uh, and you're Calvin surprised. Harris concerts. You're surprised. <laughs> all the Liverpool players live in Manchester too. Nah, they're all mates. Like we all know that they're all mates. Ah, yeah. The United, the Liverpool aren't mates. Maybe the English teammates, but City and Liverpool are full mates, bro. Mm. I think just uh, Bernardo. Bernardo doesn't have any any Liverpool. Bernardo fans. has no mates at City either. <laughs> uh, but anything else you want to say on that Liverpool game, Liverpool United game, boys? Anything you want to touch on? Oh yeah. That fraud. Oh, my God. You want to put him Fuck. in red bin? We'll go to red bin. Yeah, we'll go to red okay. bin. All right, oh, let's, uh, big drip red bin. Before we get into the big drip red bin segment, I want to give a big shout-out to Tom Lockyer. I believe that's his name. Me and Mems are watching, the, um, watching Goal Rush, and you know they have the little the other games down below. And then, I don't know where the Bournemouth-Sheffield game... Uh, sorry, uh, Bournemouth, Bournemouth and Luton game just... Cold Turkey stopped, bro, and he got postponed. I thought someone passed away, which thankfully, alhamdulillah, nothing, none of that happened. But it was Tom Lockyer, I think, had a cardiac arrest. Is that is that what it is? So, yeah. um, scary scenes, really. And I just want to give him um, any sort of pos- positivity for him. <laughs> any, any sort of positivity. Mems just assembled something. We'll cut that out. You won't say it anyway. Yeah, you won't say it. Um, but, but I hope he's all right. And it's just but it's so weird, eh? It's, it's weird how when that happens, everyone forgets everything. And everyone... The football goes out the football window. Football goes out the window. Goes out the fans, window. results go out the window. Everything just... Luton was away and Bournemouth was applauding Luton and singing Lockyer's name when that came out. That's what I love about football, bro. It's respect, really. Mm. Um, boys, let's get into Big Drip. Mm. Who's your Big Drip? Tanakh, I'm going to start off with you. Stop the ball from going on that net. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. That was a right. big pause, bro. <laughs> Those charges. That little, f- that little firework in his give ass. Give us some, bro. Uh, let's say his name, Sean Dyche, right? And I had him in. A, uh, he's had his own segment, but fuck it, let's put him in big drip. Sean Dyche, bro. Take it, go away. Go he's ahead. big drip in the way we're not big drip. You know, he's just no nonsense, and mate, he's doing that, the goods at that everything. That shit works, bro. And bro, that, like that works. He's got. I, I think what's the stat? I think if they didn't get the ten point deduction, they'll be above Chelsea. Way, way they'll be, way in, the they'll be in the top, top eight, six, top, top eight or something, bro. That's crazy to think Everton at this time of the season are in, and are two in years, this situation. And two years they've been fighting relegation, literally. Two years they should have got Sean Dyche instead of Lampard back in the days. It shows you what a fraud Lampard Maybe is. Maybe would have got European football, eh? Shows you, shows you what a fraud Lampard is. Lampard, Gerard, bro, they're all frauds, man. Yeah. I, I don't think you can be a good manager when you're young. No, I think I think like Xabi no. Alonso is surprising me right now. He's nah, gonna win the Bundesliga. I just think you need to be a really shit player to be a good manager. Because yeah. <laughs> you spend a, a lot of time doing these ones. And, and think nah, about I've got my Zidane theory. I said Zidane just is because hey, it's Zidane. Like, because yeah. Zidane tells me to do something. <laughs> I, I don't think tactically uh, it's there for Zidane. Really, yeah. I don't know. I've I never sat in the room. His tactic was he walked into the dressing room and just looked at everyone. Did like, this? And like then he, he put on YouTube, he yeah. pulled that goal he scored against no. Bayern Leverkusen. <laughs> no, no, he puts on the he puts on the, the YouTube video, the most iconic one. Yes. Zidane owns Brazil. <laughs> it's like eight minutes. Yeah. And it's just him doing sizzle tricks and, and shit. And then at the end of it, it's him headbutting Matarazzi. <laughs> <laughs> and he just looks back at everyone and goes, Com- comprende? Vamos, vamos, comprende? Comprende? Vamos, vamos, vamos. vamos. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Sean Dosh, boys. Yeah. Um, he's on the big drip. He deserves it. Anyone else, Mems? Rico Lewis for me, man. I know Go we on. didn't get a result. Go on, because listen, listen, we know football, right? And people don't talk about this guy people are talking about Jude Trent and rightly so they deserve their flowers Declan Rice this Rico Lewis guy and I told you last season when he was playing for Cancelo I think he's the next Bernardo for you and I just think that he's gonna go under the radar so much until I don't know maybe another two seasons he's just so good bro he's a great player bro at teenager what is he 18 or 17 19 19 19 cracking into that Man City team taking a, a spot in the midfield get your first Premier League goal and bro, he's so consistent. Like he's everywhere. Like he's young. He makes mistakes. I understand. Like when someone that young can't hold young. the ball. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. But the thing is, he loses the ball and he runs it down. So his work rate is phenomenal. 
And it's just, it's so good to see like these academy players coming through and filling in holes left by players that are probably going to leave. Like, it's about time. Bernardo's going to leave. <laughs> it's okay. It's about time we've seen some academy players from City, bro, other than Phil Foden. That's all yeah. I've heard about the next Messi, Phil Foden. And it, it's, Phil Foden's big drip, obviously. That's all we've had for, for, so far, Phil Foden. But now we're getting like a couple more players. Oscar, like, Bob, Oscar um, Bob. The guy that Pep had as a ball, the, Hamilton. the ball boy, Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. My, well, what's, Micah Hamilton, that, I Hamilton, I think. Micah Hamilton, Hamilton. Something like that. Yeah, man, no, Rico Lewis, keep an eye on that kid, man. That kid is going to be an England superstar if Southgate goes. Yeah. Listen, Southgate needs to go. Yeah, he's got to go. Listen, i got two big drips, right? Mohamed Kudus. Mm. Two goals yesterday. Two assists from Paqueta. He's sitting there, boys. The boys are dancing. Listen, I told you this, right? And I've said this from the World Cup, before the World Cup. I remember this kid came to Anfield and scored a banger under Ten Hag, right? And Ten Hag went and bought the fucking wrong right winger cards for his squad. <laughs> but listen, I, I, I've been watching him for, for to sign on, Anna. since then. <laughs> I've been watching him since then, right? And then in the World Cup, I said, this kid's going to have a big move. And then who goes and gets him? West Ham. For, bro, West Ham, have a, West Ham have a big drip team, bro. They got that Pequeta and Kudus link up is amazing, right? And then the man that they sold is my other big drip, Declan Rice. Because honestly, I've, I haven't seen a midfielder. In, and I've seen this from Sobers Life for like three games, right, at the start of the season. But Declan Rice, eight, 90th minute, running, 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 winning the ball back. He went on a, this little run, they almost scored. I'm spewing with it and go, like, oh, why the hell did we chuck 110 at Kaisoto and not this bloke here? And he probably would have not. It was went. actually such a one horse race for <coughs> right deckers, bro. It was, City came in for like a, just to put the price up. A no, I think bit. City just played with Arteta's balls, <coughs> like just to like play more money. You know what I mean, mm. they, they, I don't think they ever really wanted him. But, but imagine with that City time, team. I think. I think they kind of did. Where, want where, him. where would you have put him? But no, no. Yeah, this is what it was. Like this is what it was. Right? It's like, oh fuck it. If we get him, we get him. That's what City. That's what it was. If, if they that's 110 million that's, to that, City. That's when you're two AM. You slide into a girl's DMs. <laughs> that was Pep. Oh, <laughs> that was Pep. He messaged the boss. He's oh like, shit! I don't know. This one's <laughs> going through. All right, let's go. Pep messaged the boss. He goes, "Can I have 110?" Boss goes, "Yep." Pep goes, "Declan Rose." Declan. Ah, let's get him. I sort of goes, 115. I want him now. Uh, but no, nah, but I, yeah, you're right. But it was a one, one, um, action, one horse race. What? Another, an, uh, not not big drip, but keep an eye on what Pep is doing now with Grealish. Yeah, we noticed that during the game. Bro. You didn't watch the city game, nah, did you? Bro, the guy was playing as a. It was the weirdest he thing put, ever. He put Grealish back in the middle. That time, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and he it, and the, it was seeing him get more touches, getting more involved. When he went left to right, he skimmed through. I was, was like, yeah, it's the Grealish I love, bro. That's the Grealish we need. And honestly, and if he's giving him that freedom and it's a permanent thing. And he scored three. He scored... Um, in the last three games. In three in the last three games. So, yeah. that's What about um, the no Haaland thing? Um, what are your thoughts on that? I know he's injured. Like, mm. you didn't tell me, but like... Has, I, it, has I, it changed the way you play dram dramatically? I, like, where were we at with that one? We play much silkier without him. Yeah. I don't yeah, know if yeah. you saw how because Alvarez, what Alvarez was doing, he was dropping so deep into the midfield. That was at the centre and, and then Grealish and Foden were like coming into the middle as two strikers. So we lose, we get one extra player in the midfield. The two wingers become a, stri a strike pairing, and then it's like another opportunity to go forward. So yeah, I don't see how Ireland would have made them win that game. Walla. Yeah, actually, there was no, there was no like actual bad. There finishes. was a couple of crosses from from Walker, that maybe, but like. The Palace keeper was alright. I, I don't, so. I don't know, man. Like that's a hard question for me to answer. <coughs> like, yeah, I love Haaland's goals. His contribution's amazing. But if Real Madrid come in and, and buy him, am I going to be upset? No, nah, you would never be upset. I know that. No. I think Alvarez needs a bit more time uh, if, as well. I'd, I'd, if you told me right now, you take Gundogan back and give us Haaland, I'll do that. <laughs> no, no, this guy. I'll do that. Trade. He wants that January Spurs, right? that that uh, March April, fucking Gundogan yeah, cameo. That, that beats any form of any amount of goals Haaland can ever give me. Yeah, it's just the, the clutchness of it. Red bin, boys. Who are we going for the red bin? Big drip, Mike Oliver. <laughs> red bin, Mike Oliver. Nah, yeah, it's red bin, bro. I, was, I need someone to explain that red card to me. I'm actually shook. Yeah. Because I saw Del Nunes in the 21st minute. Not just make a challenge. He looked at Johnny Evans and said, I'm putting this old, te old man out of, out of action, bro. <laughs> he full sweared him up, kicks the ball away, and then claps the ref after the challenge. All good. Why don't you send someone off at Enfield, the star striker at Enfield in the 21st minute, but you have the balls to send our right back off. Mind you, you got the call wrong because that was our ball. And then you want to send him off for two straight yellow cards. Imagine getting pulled over by the cops and it's like you're going 20Ks and over. Yeah, all right, so there's your first fine. 
But also, right, that's your second fine. Like, <laughs> 20 over, 10 and over here. Oh, sorry, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, that makes so, no sense. Yeah, Mike Oliver goes in the red bin. Not even just that. The handball. I thought that was a handball. I thought that was too straight was up. Even though I don't like those calls. I don't no, like I them. thought that was a handball. But you, like you said, in Champions Stay League. consistent. Yeah. In Champions League, they call that shit. Yeah, natural and unnatural. Because like the boss. Yeah. He's, he's, he's done this. Spun around his Even head. the pen. Even the, the Anana and all the players coming in. That yeah. was... For me, I, I don't like calling that as a pen, but it was yeah. reckless. Like, players tumbled over. So, <clears throat> yeah. rules are and rules. That, and then even Luke Shaw's yellow card, about literally 15 seconds before that, maybe breaking boy. through. He gets swiped. He goes stand up. And Luke Shaw goes and crunches Salah. Nah, but I, I, think, I think he had to yellow card that. He did yeah, make... That's fine. But what was... He literally he didn't, the he didn't think it was a challenge. Challenge. He didn't think it was a challenge. He didn't think it was a challenge. Yeah, take 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 a had four oh, notes. Come on, bro. Like, nah, but just on, on. The, just on the red card thing, right? This is my opinion, right? And I hate United. But first of all, it's a Liverpool-United game. It's a, it's a fierce rivalry. I already... You already know. I don't have to give you all the details and paint the picture for you. Right? It's hated. Second of all, like, let it go. You've let a lot of shit go in the game. Let it go. It's football. Like, these, these are the games where rules shouldn't, like... Petty rules shouldn't apply. Be you a get me? bit lenient with it. Like, be lenient, bro. It's like State of Origin. When you watch State of Origin, it's it's fully understood that this is going to be very intense. Shit might happen, right? And then, second of all, it's the last minute of the game. So, like, <laughs> like as much as, it, uh, whatever, he got a red card, I should be happy, but it's just, they just got no player for, we don't have, a, like, we have a right back in terms of, we've got ABW. No, but, but it's not even about that. It's like the last minute, right? You can, you can give him a, all right, give him a yellow. You want to give him a yellow? Fine. That's up to you. Have a chat to him. But be like, brother, if you say one more thing, you're going to go. And then if you say something, everyone will say, fine, I get you it. should have kept his mouth shut. Yeah, but they drag, they just drag the emotion out of it, bro. Let it be emotional. That's what we love about the sport, man. It just does my head in. Mems Redbin. Ruben Diaz. Ooh, let's have a conversation about the greatest defender in Premier League history. For one second. Rio, uh, uh, Ruben Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> nah, go on. Why, why Ruben Diaz? What, what's happening, man? He's, he's, he's single-handedly lost us games, cost us points on his own. I can't even blame Guardiola or Ake because it's not their job. That last line of defense has been his job and he's, he got bodied against Villa. Uh, I, 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 we said this off, air, off the camera, um, but... I think that it's the complacency, bro. And I've seen it in Van Dyke because there was times where you were too tough for it. You're like, I got this bloke, you know what I mean? Move, man. And then you realize Mateta bodies you. Openda bodies you in the Champions League, bro. That was twice. We didn't speak about that. But he got bodied in the Champions League. Twice. And he's been getting bodied. And it looks like he's not reading um, he's most, not reading the play properly. Most of the goals have come from him. Most oh, of yeah, 100%. And that's one reason why I'll never put him, like, obviously, I'll form you put him to up there. He's still young. That's that's another thing. He's 25, man. I, f I didn't care about that. Yeah. I'm talking about off form. Like, yeah. can, when he's in form, you can say he's the best. But for me, I don't think he's the best. I think he's he's barely asked to defend. And when you're barely asked to defend... No, he's not. Yeah, you're right. He's uh, good, you see it, bro. And, and I, it's, it's the same like thing Edison. with Trent Alexander-Arnold because he's not always... Up against someone on the right. Same thing with Edison. Edison suspect. With saves. If that's what happens. And that's, that's my next red bin as well. Is Edison. 70% of possession. That's what's going to happen. Bro. We, <laughs> don't, we don't ask you to save the ball that much. We so when we, we do, brother. Look, we, hey, look at this shit, bro. <laughs> we don't. We genuinely... We, Play, you're good with your feet, no worries. Take that, but bro, we don't ask you for many saves. He's made some game. big saves this year, but well, he has. He's made some, but man, like against Villa, he only had one to make. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You just had to make that uh, penalty, fair enough. I'll I'll give you an excuse on the penalty, but the it's like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. I, I hear it. Against uh, against uh, Liverpool, you just had you just had though, bro. That was Liverpool had two chances. Yeah, it's only yeah. two saves you had to make. He made a good save for the first for the Jota one. I remember. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, with goalkeepers, bro. That's how it is. It's like it's either this or it's either that. It's either they have a masterclass. He's very suspect. Or they have yeah, a shocker. Bro, Ruben's been suspect. You know, suspect Ru David Raya. I, f I don't like watching him play. You know, if I'm an Arsenal fan, I'll, and Yasa tells me the same thing. He's like, bro, I can't stand watching him play, bro. Like, uh, shout, shout out Yasa. Shout out Yasa. We had a great. Um, we had, went to the beach the other day. We had a good time. But bro, like, I watch him and I'm like, oh, what are you doing, bro? Allah, that is. Yeah. Look at the devil. He's literally messaging me right now. That is some devil's work right yes, there. <laughs> hey, when he watches this, he'll know. Don't tell him. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be weird. I'm not going to say nothing. But, uh, but I understand what you're saying. Uh, my red bin is two players from Liverpool. Um, Sobers Loy, right? Well, come on, bro. One game. Brother, listen. No, no, no. No, no. I, you know me. I never come for someone after one game. I never go and attack them for one game. Because one you have games, you watch. Uh, no, no. Go, no, bro, go back three episodes. 
Na, na. Po, po. Double wristers. <laughs> hey, double wristers, hey. <laughs> no, but listen, listen. I've watched him the past couple games and Klopp subbed him off. Listen, when your subbers die, in the first five, ten games of the season, he wasn't getting subbed off. He needs a six, bro. That's the problem. Uh, listen, I get it, but your midfielders, McAllister needs no, no. a six, Sobosla needs a six. He's Everyone not playing. Six. He's not playing like he's not playing in the advanced role. He's too busy. His work rate's going back and covering and whatnot. Um, but just that performance for United was bad. It's like he was asleep. It wasn't even like United pressuring him. It was just like proper complacency, and I hate that about a player. So I think to cut him some slack, a lot of players in that Liverpool team were frustrated and. When you play frustrated, it shows because you start forcing passes. Yeah, yeah. Start popping shots from 20 yards out. Tanaka was like, the eight, first eight minutes. <laughs> he took two bad touches. Walla. And I told you, I said this about the Liverpool United game. If we scored, because that first 10 minutes, Tommy went sweating. You were like, what the fuck's happening? I was well, okay. Come on. No, I promise. Because I, I, was, I was like, fuck. But I then, thought, you know what's in the back of my head? Because yeah. my brain is cooked. Yeah. I'm like, this is going to be one of those games where we smash him and not score a goal. <laughs> like... But just complacency in the final third, I think him and Nunes, bro. Nunes, enough's enough. You've got to start putting goals in the back of the net, bro. I think it's 10 Premier League games now or 10 games altogether. You haven't scored a goal. To be like, fair to him, but you didn't have a clear cut chance yesterday. He didn't, he didn't. But there was one. No, he could have just had a bounce on his chest, had a shot. But I don't know. I'm, I'm not a striker. I've never played as a striker. But there's other players in the league that would body that shit. You know what I mean? And I'm not, I'm not even talking to you about Haaland. No. I'm talking about your Watkins. I'm talking about João Pedro. I'm talking about these players that... John McGinn! John McGinn, yeah, that's my boy. Um, but yeah, that's my red bin. Um, anything else you want to speak about, boys? Man City, do you want to have a... What do you reckon, Man City? Getting complacent? Relax. What's Calm your take? Down. Arsenal's going to still win the league, you reckon, boys? Relax. 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 We had this alongside. last year. We <laughs> last year, we went through the same conversation. Arsenal fans, the back end of the season is different. All right, I got a question for you. Two questions. Who's going to win the Europa League? Seriously. Don't Liverpool. just say Liverpool. Liverpool. Seriously, because you have to look at the draw. There's some Sevilla's great teams. gone. Liverpool. I can't get past you. Like, I know there's teams dropping out of the Champions League, but I think you're a Champions League team playing. Europa uh, League. Like. I don't, I'm not even talking about Champions League teams. I'm talking about Bayer Leverkusen. I just don't know why. I feel like they're going to go and grab it. You reckon they'll grab the Bundesliga and the... F- Imagine that. And the, the Europa League? Uh, for me, Liverpool have to win the Europa League. Do you know no what questions. it is? With the Leverkusen, people are still trying to figure out the way they play because Xavi's got this whole... He's got three, three formations. Coming up called relationship, whatever you, however you say it. Um, I think people are still triggering out to play it because we've been such it's a system-based football. It's like German Pep Guardiola. It's literally yeah. Pep and Klopp together. Yeah. So people are like wigging out right now. They, they're doing this. And I think with enough time... Man, this is what managers get paid Mate, millions we're, and millions we're, and millions of. We got figured out in Pep's third season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That 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 ticker tucker ball gets figured out quick. You you know we've. You look at City; they haven't had the same style of play for the last two, three seasons. It's always every year changing. I think Harlan's a big, big reason for that. There's yeah, yeah of big, course. But there's always a big evolution. We always have like a big step in another direction. So if Javi Alonso can figure out, you uh, know, once you get him. figured out, what are you gonna do? I love him and I love that. He's team, gonna bro. be unstoppable. And, and like. So I, I, he's got the he's got the <coughs> brain, bro. He's got the IQ. He's got the elegance. And he's got the he's got the he's been under some great managers. He's he's played. He can call him managers. anytime he needs. Eh? His dad, <laughs> his dad is football royalty as well. Like his dad is a fo- is autistically football. football brained. Yeah. So this guy has got you know the world ahead of him, and man, I think he'll go far. So I what do you reckon? You're going. He'll be Real Madrid coach in the next few years. No, I'm still I'm sticking so, with Liverpool. Like yeah. I said, it's Liverpool. yeah. I'm going to go buy Leverkusen and I'm the only Liverpool fan here to be honest with you. I just feel like it's going to be one of those seasons for him. Yeah, when when they the doing the draw today? One? Huh? When they doing the draw today? Is it? Isn't that like 9 o'clock probably 10 o'clock? I don't know. Just double check that. Boys, quick question. Uh, both Europa and UCL. Uh, another question, boys. Who wins the Champions League? <laughs> well, every year it's the same team, isn't it? Everyone picks the same team. It's always Man City. Tanaka? Don't care. And so, oh, <laughs> don't care. I mean, well, uh, two weeks ago, he was like, Champions League stats, this, that. As soon as he's out of it, couldn't give a fuck about it. Couldn't care less. Is it just me or is this the most boring champ? And I'm not even saying it because we're not in it. But is it the most like boring Champions League that we've had? And it's the last Champions League in this format, by the way. Did you know that, Mems? It's yeah, the last it um, proper format of Champions League football. Well, when's the draw happening? It's uh, Tomorrow. Tomorrow, what time? Yeah. Like nine o'clock. Uh, did, did I do both Europa League and Champions League? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it's gonna be a thing. Uh, wh- what are we saying, boys? We don't think Arsenal have a chance. I know we've spoken about this before. Said, like, to, uh, do they have a chance to make it to the final? 
See, I, 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 stop, stop. Give me your, give me your, okay. give me your Champions League phone. Do you know, do you know why um, I don't... The reason I don't believe in Arsenal yet is because they haven't put in a solid enough away performance, in my opinion. That's and true. And if you want to win the Champions League, you got to play three away games. Wait, are we, you're talking about if Arsenal can win the no, Champions no, I'm League? Asking you, I'm asking for a quick question. Mm. I'm asking yeah. you to tell me who do you think will be in the Champions League final, and it's in an, it's uh, next year. I I really uh, sorry. Go on. <coughs> no, go no, 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 no. That's what I was gonna say. Like they haven't won. They haven't won and put a yeah, stroke, Champions League final. Way, who's way playing? Forwards. Who's playing in the Champions League final? Go. Man City versus Barca. No Ooh. way. No way. Barca are dead right now. Yeah, yeah Barca, Barca are actually Barca are rubbish dead, right bro. now. What are you talking about? So are we. No, 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 no. They're no. actually in the mud. No, they're, they're, they're like, they're like people. Out. There's Chavi people, out. there's people <laughs> literally like, as soon as January comes and we get Victor, put him in the team. Yeah. Sack Lewandowski. And I said this about Lewandowski. Okay. I said it. Okay, okay. If I, That's what I want. I want it to be a Barca Man City final, but. That's why Gundogan can be clutch <laughs> for the wrong team. <laughs> Gundogan wins anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good look, whatever team Gundogan's on, that's the team. So that. who you reckon? I, I told you this. I actually think it might be a Man City versus Arsenal showdown. That's a because honestly, bro, there's no depends quali- on tonight, man. There's, yeah, there's that, no, qu- yeah, depends on, t- but there's no quality in the Champions League. Like, I, you look at that and you go, man, City will beat every every single team here. Yeah, on on a, on on their day, on their Easy. day. Any which team can compete? Oh, that's Champions League, bro. It's the miracles like, of Champions League. Real Madrid, they've got Jude Bellingham scoring all their goals, but it's because no one else can score. Mm. It's because everyone else is shit. Vinny is pretty not playing, is he? Is he playing? No, nah, he's been playing. Yeah, but, but he's not scoring. I don't know actually. I don't know. I, th- I know Rodrigo's been good. Yeah, like. <coughs> He's shining in a team that's rubbish. So, well, what if they go into the market in January? I don't know. Ah, Tanaka, who do you reckon plays the final? Okay, so my first finalist. I actually don't think Man City will make it to the final. Yeah, me too. Well, I actually Wallah, don't me think too. they will. And if they do, um, if they do, they make they win it. Yep, they agreed. Um, I'm actually forgetting which teams are in it. I think Inter are a good shout. They're being, they're top of the league as well. I think in, in Inter, are, uh, Inter are playing with their food in the in the city area at the oh, moment. In, Inter just approached us for Calvin. Yeah, nice. no, that was Juve. That was Juve. Oh, was that Juve? Juve. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, Inter, Inter. I think Inter will definitely have a good run. So I'm going to put Inter in there. Um, and next to Inter, fuck, you're right, man. There isn't anyone else who's. Really, you see what I said? It's the most like I don't like really know. Like that's what I mean. That's why I can win like, it. The quality, like. Do you remember like 10, 15 years ago? Not like, even. Five, even, y- five years yeah, ago. Yeah, but like even I'd like... Ajax, that Ajax, Tottenham, Ajax team, City, Liverpool, might, Madrid. Like, United, like there was about six or seven Barca, teams where like, you'd go... Barca. Like right now, look, if right now if we were still in the Champions League, I don't think it was genuinely anyone that we would get in the draw. That would have gone... Oh, I'm scared. Like I'm scared. But we're so, forgetting Bayern Munich. Man, I They're saw, bums as well, man. Man, I saw us lose to Bayern last week. I was not impressed. Yeah, but I don't think they even tried, bro. Like their way... Uh, it, and look, oh, I don't know, bro. It's a tough yeah, one. Yeah, I think me. Inter, Inter <coughs> let's say Inter Arsenal. That's a nice one. I like that one. Yeah. That'll be actually a good watch. Um, What am I going to say? Well, I'm going to go Barcelona, Real Madrid. If that is possible, I think that happens. Just for like, just that, imagine that fierceness, bro, of a Champions League final, Barcelona, Real Madrid. It's never happened, yeah. eh? It's never, ever happened. Nah. They've played with each other in the same season. Let us know who you think wins the Champions League, the Europa League, and. um. Love you all.